So breaking this morning, a SWAT situation has finally concluded in southwest Atlanta. This standoff happening just hours after police responded to a deadly shooting in that area. Atlanta News First Don Shipman has been there all morning long. And Don, you just got new information from Atlanta police. Atlanta police say that they don't have anyone in custody, and this is out after an hours long SWAT situation. They had this house right here surrounded. You can still see some of the police tape that is cordoned off the area. They were here for much of the overnight. And then I want to direct your attention right across the street here. This is Joseph E. Lowry, and that's Mitchell Street. That house over there, just beyond this construction site, that is where there was a homicide investigation late last night. We believe that the SWAT situation from overnight and that homicide situation from the night before last night those are connected. We're still trying to get confirmation, though, from police. But it was a tense situation during the overnight hours. You can see the, the, the SWAT vehicles. You can see the tactical gear that the officers are wearing right here. Now, it got pretty tense at one, at one point because early this morning, we could actually hear crews making loud booms in this area. Uh, what we believe were sound grenades of some sort, basically to kind of uh, disorient someone. And we also could hear people yelling into, or police yelling into this house right here, asking someone to come out. But again, we found out just about 45 minutes ago that police do not have anyone in custody. They're still investigating this as a homicide. We're live here in Southwest Atlanta. Don Shipman, Atlanta News First. Yeah, a lot of